this is my reset glitch hack tutorial. Um, I'm using the Cool Runner eBay variety. The first thing you're going to want to do with the one I have is remove R5. If yours has R4 connected, you have to remove R4. Either way, both of them need to be removed. And then I'm going to start like I did in the uh, NAND flasher video by tinning the spots that I need to solder on. I'm going to need to solder to ground and VCC. And to make it easier, I'm just going to count pins instead of trying to explain what everything is. Post out goes to pin 2, or pin 10, I'm sorry, on the left side if you're looking at the front. And, uh, let's see. Well, it's 20, so technically 10 from the top or 10 from the bottom, either way. But we're going to call this the top. And that's where the uh, ground and VCC are. And make sure I get the exact spot I'm wanting. So you want to do pin 10 and then pin 20 and of course ground is already done on this side. And on the other side you're going to do pin 16. I'm just going to count four up from the top. five up from the top if I'm counting this one anyway pin 16 and then pin 8 Pin 8 and then pin 4. I'm also going to install the pin header to do the um, programming. And while I've got it over, flipped over, if you uh, find the point R2 you need to make a solder bridge there in between the two spots on it I'll do that later when it's cooperating with me. Anyway, I usually plug in the plug the header in from the top and then flip it over on its back so that it gives natural puts weight down on it on its own. And then you want to touch the pin to melt the solder, not the solder to the tip.
and that's that for those. Now I'm gonna get this thing to go for me because this has to happen. Okay, it's being a pain, so I'm just gonna grab a little shred of wire and do it that way. I really doubt you'll be able to see this little piece of wire on this on the camera. I can barely see it here. Take a little tiny piece of wire and set it on the board and then bridge those two points. I don't recommend touching the tip of a hot soldering iron, but my hands are used to it, so I do. It's a little bigger piece of wire than I really wanted to use on it, but anyway. So now we've got we've got that fixed. And that's ready to actually be programmed now. But I'm gonna go ahead and also show you how to connect the uh, resistors and diodes for the fat Xbox 360. Alright, so what we need for this, three of the 1N148 diodes, that you, the same ones that you would use for the SMC hack, um, a 1K ohm resistor, it's a gold red, black brown, and a, uh, well it's point .1 microfarads or 100 nanofarads or yeah I think that's right so we're gonna start by clipping some of these things down I'm gonna clip this as short as I can the resistor I'm going to leave it completely lengthwise and connect the capacitor in uh, like I have it set here That takes care of that part of the circuit for now. And then you want to prepare the diodes. I'm going to leave one. Let's see here. I'm going to clip one sh short on both ends. Clip one with the black line facing 
I'm going to cut one side of the black with the black line shorter and leave the other side long. And then I'm going to clip another one with the black black side long and the other side short. Now I'm going to solder all three of these together, which is not going to be extremely easy, but I'll do it. Sorry, I kind of blocked the camera there for a second. And then the last one. And notice that all all the black lines have to face the same direction. It's very important with diodes. Now you're going to hook these up between VCC and pin 16 with the black lines facing what you would call towards pin 16. And I'm actually going to shorten this so that it, it will fit better. And then I'm going to try and get this to poke through the actual hole to VCC and push it all the way through and then clip the end of the wire so that the, it's going to be nice and clean. And you see I got it, got them right up on it. And it looks like I made it too short. And that's not VCC, that's ground. Okay, put it on, make sure you put it on VCC and not the wrong wire like I just did. Wrong pin. I'm going to have to cut it and make a new second part video because I'm limited to I think 15 minutes now.